Good morning. I'm coming to you from the journal den. I am, I've had a wonderful morning here, journaling and planning and doing all sorts of wonderful things, all my stuff. It's day two of my cycle today, so I set my intentions, do my tarot, think about and plan out my cycle and what I want from from this next 28 days or so. It feels really nice. I feel really held in that ritual. It's a good one. And then Doris inspired reading bullet journal thing has begun. I found this great list that I wrote ages ago of what I want in my reading room and as I read it again and wrote it out, it just made me smile to think about a room that had all of these amazing things in it. I mean, that you know, I've written down bin for God's sakes, but you know, there's blankets and a journaling, there's paper cranes and there's photos on the wall and there's candles and there's a side table beside my couch so I don't put everything on the floor all the time. Anyway, the simple things in this. So yeah, I, I, the boys wanted socks from Typo. I don't know. It's like a really dodgy stationery store. And these were just there and they were on special. And I was like, let's just refocus and recalibrate my life and, and, and pull together some gels. So that's what I've been doing this morning. There's a thing called Vlogtober. Did anybody know about that? I didn't know about that until last night when I was trolling through my YouTube. And um, so, I mean, I like to vlog. So why am I not doing Vlogtober? So I think I get so caught up in Victober. I think there's nothing else. Speaking of which, I haven't even read one thing for Victober. So I've got to rectify that today. Anyway, let's vlog. Let's do it. Um... I am solo parenting on day two of my cycle. I did it yesterday on day one of my cycle. I'm a little tired, <laughs> but it's okay. And all we have to do, very minimal to-do list today of groceries and setting up food for the week so that my growing boys can eat every five minutes. Um, and then I intend to do a lot of reading because I have a stack of books that need to that need attention so that's my plan for today oh i also want to do this excuse the mess and the two teacups that's yesterday's teacup this is today's delicious lemon and ginger anyway <laughs> i saw this on pinterest years ago and i've always wanted to do it and so so each day is a different each day has a card and then as each day comes along you just write a little thing about what happened that day for each different year and when you go back through where's one where there's been a couple oh there's new years see i always start in january january is always good there you go so i did 2018 and then i did 2020 and on january 5th on both of these years i had breakfast in town <laughs> breakfast that was the highlight of january 5th <laughs> but anyway i do want to keep doing this because when you go back and look at things like that it it makes you laugh so that's what i want to do now patty unleashed some also awesome disco dance moves <laughs> that's hilarious i remember that night Okay, so it's October. I don't know even where we're at. Oh, I don't even have it. Right, so I might need to go and get some cards and fill this in. As usual, it's, it's not complete. So I need to put on my list to get some of these cards and, um, and do this. There you go. Look, that was a nothing clip. And that was, that, there was no point to that. Sorry. Welcome to Vlogtober with Natalie. I came back into the house and the boys are still asleep. Oh my God. So I'm going to tiptoe and not wake them up. And just me. 
breathing. <laughs> Day two reading has got to always be in bed. And meeting this. I'll tell you more about it later because I don't want to wake him up. I need just another half an hour of reading to sneak in. I didn't take you grocery shopping. I figured we all didn't have to go through that pain. So right now, there's the groceries. I'm making the little snack things for lunch boxes. I don't have the children right now because a friend came and took them to golf. They're Uncle Pock. So I'm going to take this time to get all the jobs done and I'll hang out with them this afternoon. So I tried this new thing. <laughs> if you don't give a shit about lunch boxes, just fast forward. Fancy YouTubers have timestamps. I don't know how to do that, but just keep going. Anyway, um, I did this thing last week where I got all of their lunches set up and just put in the fridge and then they made their own lunch boxes each day and I didn't have to do it and it just changed my life. So, so I'm just going to put in the effort now and get it done and I'll show you the end result. It's, it's, ugh, it's revolutionary. I am done. The bags are gone. It's still a mess. I don't care about that. Look, all the little things are cut up in the fridge. <gasps> Who am I? And all the little... Oh, I think I have a penguin. All the little things are in the box. The rest of the place is a mess, but they can make their lunch boxes tomorrow. And that just makes me super duper happy. Okay, they're still at home from golf. So I got some time. I get my glasses and I'm going to read my book. I'll tell you about it. It's a little weird. Weird's probably the wrong word. It's not weird, it's just it's just a story I've never thought about before. It's called The Animals in That Country by Laura Jean McKay. I am reading this because of the Readings Prize, which will be announced at the end of October. And got this and two more to read so I'm cramming them in this is about <laughs> we follow <laughs> you can't keep a straight face we follow Jean and Jean's an alcoholic zookeeper anyway there's a pandemic and it's spreading through Australia and the one of the symptoms of this pandemic is that you can hear animals talk. So, so Jean wants to catch this disease flu thing that's flying around because she wants to talk to the animals because she loves them. And some of her zookeeper friends feel the same way. There you go. It's all a little bizarre. I'm only there, so maybe that's why it's bizarre. But wait till the animals start talking. And I'm pretty sure they do. So I might need a glass of wine for that process. It's really engaging writing. I'm reading it because it's on a list. I wouldn't have picked this up ever <laughs> in my life if I had known what it was about. But I'm doing it because it's on the list. And those are always the little fun gems that you find. I love, that's, the, that's one of the things I love about buddy reads and um yeah prize lists is that you you pick up things that might be little treasures so i'm hoping this is one the yeah the writing's really engaging i'm really into it so i'm gonna sit and have a little read maybe watch a bit of booktube and then have a little read maybe have a nap and then watch booktube and then have a read i've got so many oh i thought that was them i've got so many books to read that's the stack. And I have not even started Victoria. I think I told you that. So 
let's get stuck into it. Let's make this a reading day. That's actually really exciting. It's 11. I've got to make lunch and I've got to make dinner and I've got to do some washing. But outside of that, I have nothing else to do. Oh, children. <laughs> I forgot about them. I have to play a few board games, I suspect. Anyway, you'll see because we're vlogging. Okay, talk to you later. As you can tell, I just woke up. <laughs> naps are important for me, but especially day two naps. So I slept while the boys had their screen time. And now we're all up and about. I read a little bit more of my book before I went to sleep, but not much. So I'm going to bunk down and do that. And hopefully the boys will be able to entertain themselves for the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Okay, back to the talking animals. They've just started to talk. And it's not, g'day, how you going? And it's pretty interesting talk. So it's keeping me very intrigued, this book. I like that. Okay, I'll, um, I'll chat with you when I'm a little more together. <laughs> right, just to check in with this book, because I'm just about to put it down for a little bit. Um... I don't, I don't read poetry and I don't read it because I'm not good with cryptic and, and maybe, oh, there's some thought around that. Anyway, in work stuff, um, I can kind of read into meaning a little bit, but these animals are talking in riddle and they're talking very cryptically and the little girl, she can understand them, which is so it's so telling um, about, you know, intuition and conditioning and clouding of all that stuff. But anyway, I could go on about that. Um, and and the Jean, our little alcoholic grandmother here, is trying to interpret it in order to kind of stand up and save things. So it's a lot for me to take in. It's very engaging. And, you know, right now there's this little plot twist and we're about to go on an adventure but the the cryptic nature of it is is a lot for me to kind of read in one sitting like I, it's very fast to read and i could easily devour a book like this but that sort of those little animals talking in that riddly kind of way just i i read what they say and i'm like okay like, what's that supposed to mean? And I read on and they know, but I don't know. And yeah, I feel a little bit, <laughs> not stupid, stupid. I don't feel stupid. I just feel like I should know and I don't in some parts. But that's not to say it's confusing. It's, it's really, really good. Like I'm really enjoying it, but it's just to say that it's a lot for my brain and I just need a little break right now. So I'm just going to put it down. So I made it to 115. So that's cool. I, I'm, yeah. Did I say I'm really enjoying it? I'm really enjoying it. So I'll just pop it down. Oh, take a breath. The boys are out on the um, trampoline, I think. Maybe I should check in with them. They would put the sprinkler underneath the trampoline and jump on it. Classic. Busy summer backyard fun. Yep. Oh, look, they've even got their shirts and everything on. So sun safe these boys. Okay. I've got a visual on them. That's all I needed. Oh, the dog loves the water. <laughs> Our front yard is this series of, where can you see? Oh, there's my finger. Our front yard becomes in some of this series of green patches where we move the trampoline to and the sprinkler. It's very cool. <laughs> Okay, Look, all I needed was a visual. They're fine. Good one. I can continue to read. Um, I'm going to pick up The Eighth Life. I'm there. And I haven't picked it up in a while. Um, and I, we've moved on to the next character. I'm on to Kostya's chapter. There you go, book three. I really enjoy this. And I've got to just keep reminding myself to pick it up before I lose touch with the story. And I just kind of feel like I'm at that point where I could be losing touch with it. Um, so, yeah, let's read a bit of this now. Just gonna still sit here. I got my water, I got my book. 
I got the boys entertained by a trampoline. Sweet. ingredient for this dinner. <laughs> Time to improvise. You can fix everything with beer, right? <laughs> we'll see. Um, this is a recipe, my mum and dad's recipe, and I would always make it for special occasions when people, we had visitors over or whatever. And I always used to think, oh, I just wish we could just like have it for dinner because it's so delicious, <laughs> but it was always safe for those special occasions. So I made it for some friends a little while ago. And then I thought to myself, I'm doing that again. Like I'm only making it and the kids love it. I'm only making it, you know, for the special occasion. So I bought a ham today. It's meant to be stout. That's the missing ingredient. So go and do the washing, please. I bought beer. <laughs> what do you want me to have for dinner? <laughs> no. The heat burns the alcohol off. Oh. So it just rem the taste remains, not the. So I'm going to be tasting alcohol? You're going to be tasting beer, no alcohol. Beer. Oh, that's going to taste weird. <laughs> that was a valid question. I don't even know what I was saying, but we're having it for dinner tonight. And that makes me really happy. One of those little things, hey? Okay, let's hopefully the beer works. We're about to go in and watch some Sugar Rush together. We all love that show. Well, I thought we all loved that show. Apparently, Patty doesn't like it, but Fitz and I have outvoted him. So, so there you go. That's us on the couch for a little bit. Literally stopped watching Sugar Rush not a minute ago. They're already fighting. Wrestling and fighting on my bed. <laughs> I'm going to send them outside. Burn off some energy. It's like they ate all of that sugar. Oi! Hey, what's happened to my bed? I need to leave them. Finish their wrestling. Right. I'm enjoying this, so I'm going to sit with this. Right, injury sorted, it's fine. I sent them outside, like the original plan. Just, just keeping you updated, everybody's okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna do this just for half an hour and then I need to finish off dinner, bless my house, and go from there. back footies on just like that we're at the end of the day oh gosh I would really love to go to bed but apparently it's been taken over 
I am still making my way through this next book in the Earth Life. This is just so, I just love it. Historical fiction's my thing, but I just really, really love this writing and this story and all of the people in it. So I think I'm going to end my night by sitting with this for a little while longer and trying to kick the football boys out of my bed. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today. It's been fun. My first vlog for Vlogtober. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.